What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Lost in the Dog podcast. I'm Burton coming at you from the crypt tonight. Another solo episode. Uh, I hope everyone had an excellent 4th of July weekend. Uh, I Mine was uh, somewhat uneventful. 4th of July itself, the day was actually a lot of fun. Uh, my friend Matt and I... We went down to um, the Michigan Rib Fest held in uh, Lake Orion, Lake Orion. I don't know how to pronounce it, but in Michigan, and uh, it was fantastic. It was reminiscent of uh, a festival that Preston and I have gone to, had gone to many years ago when we were kids, called the Pig Gig out in Bay City, that they no longer hold. Um, but it was quite a lot of fun. We we enjoyed the Pig Gig and. Uh, it was basically a rib festival and, uh, you know, lots of different vendors from Michigan and other states uh, and, uh, you know, just fucking shit ton of fucking barbecue, like fantastic ass barbecue. And uh, so Matt and I went down on the 4th of July. We got a little rained on, but it wasn't that bad. It was really warm out anyway. Uh, and uh, I think we tried... I think there were maybe, you know, in terms of like straight barbecue, there were probably in the neighborhood of somewhere between like 12 and 15 vendors, I think, that I saw at least. Uh, And we we probably only got to end up trying like three or four of them, but all of them were fucking fantastic like it was it was and it was a lot of fun it was set up really well uh yeah and it, it was just a lot of fun it was a really good festival i highly recommend it uh there's actually another rib festival coming up in michigan uh at the at the beginning of august in kalamazoo the kalamazoo rib fest uh preston and i are planning on attending that one for sure that one should be just as fun uh we're looking forward to that one definitely um, but yeah, that was my 4th of July and then the rest of the weekend, uh, the rest of the weekend was, uh, pretty standard. Didn't really, uh, didn't really do all too much. Did finally fucking, uh, did finally get a new car and, uh, the Metamobile Mach 4 got her voice this weekend. Uh, got the fucking subs installed so I'll finally be able to be listening to music again the way it's supposed to be heard and fucking doing reviews and shit like that uh the proper way so um definitely looking for that that that's a lot of fun definitely enjoying that um but yeah this is gonna be a pretty fucking short episode honestly uh i don't have to just wanted to kind of get a check in you know give everyone an update and stuff like that um there is there was a uh, a couple of announcements today there was a uh, uh, the steel panther album got announced today coming out september 27th called heavy metal rules uh so the fucking gods of glam are back and uh if you never heard of steel panther check them out they're fantastic check them out on fucking uh go on youtube and search vh1 behind the music steel panther that's how i was introduced to them and that's how i think everybody should be introduced to them by watching the behind the music before anything else and then listening and watching the video death to all but metal uh yeah it's they are they're one of the fucking they're one of the best like funniest funniest slash talented bands out there that's it's fucking awesome love steel panther seen them many many fucking times at many different venues in michigan they've been here lots and i've seen them most of the times that they've come uh for sure since they started um and they put on a fucking awesome show if you've never seen steel panther live definitely it's definitely worth going to the show for it's fantastic um also, uh, I, this one's been announced for a while, and I think it's coming out. This kind of just came on my radar. August second, Carnifex is coming out with their new one, World War X. Um, 
And, you know, full disclosure, I've never heard a Carnifex album top to bottom. I have seen them live a number of times. Uh, but I've never heard an album top to bottom. But they got that new single out with Elisa White Gloves. I forget the name of the song. But uh, it's a really good fucking track. It's off the new album. I love Arch Enemy. Uh, and, uh, it, and that kind of like, that brought me in a little bit. So uh, I think I'm going to check this album out for sure at least. Uh, definitely check out the new fucking Carnifex single. I, again, I forget the name of it. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, it's featuring the lead, the current lead singer of Arch Enemy. So, uh, yeah, that should be pretty fucking interesting. And then, uh, so that, yeah, that, that album's coming out August 2nd, World War X. I'm sure there's some pre-orders on, uh, Andy Merch Store in there. I think they're on, like, Nuclear Blast maybe it could be completely wrong hold on actually this might say hold on yep nuclear blast boom shakalaka august 2nd okay so yeah um shout out to my sister who was home from senegal today finally uh back in detroit as of today uh so very happy to hear that she had made it home safely And hopefully we'll be able to get her on the podcast soon to tell us about her travels. I think she was building some schools over in Senegal for the people. And uh, you can go back uh, to an older episode. I forget what number it is, but check it out. She's been on before talking about past trips that she's done to Africa doing the same thing. So uh, fantastic work. Definitely awesome. Um. And then I guess uh, I really only have one more thing to talk about, to be honest with you. Like I said, it's going to be a real short episode. Uh, There was a recent video brought to my attention. Um, Basically, what we got is, uh, well, all the articles are saying sea monster spotted in Lake Michigan. Uh, Now... It's on the pier in South Haven, Michigan. And this video has been circulating for about a week now. I've watched it a couple times. And, you know... As I've said many times on this podcast... I want to believe more than anyone. I want to live in a world... With Loch Ness monsters and Bigfoots and aliens and dogmen and ghosts. I want to live in that world. I, 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 you know, like that to me as a kid, like that's growing up, I always wanted those things to be real. As an adult, I want to believe, but. I also understand that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Uh, So I've never seen any irrefutable proof of anything, not even with my own eyes. And I've seen some pretty crazy fucking shit with my own eyes, at least in regards to paranormal activity. Um, But still nothing that I would go undeniably a ghost. But I have seen some pretty fucking crazy shit. I'm not going to lie. I've seen a can move on its own. Uh, I've seen a fucking glow stick roll across the floor by itself. You know, I've seen I've seen objects move. I've seen lights turn on and off. I've heard footsteps. Um, A lot a lot of the hallmark fucking haunting stuff I have actually witnessed. But Still nothing to make me go irrefutable proof. Uh, But nonetheless, like I say, I want to believe this stuff fascinates me. The mystery, the unknown, absolutely fascinates me. The fringe. Um, And it ha- it's, it's, it's captured my imagination since I was a kid. And, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the reason why I just went to Scotland to visit Loch Ness because, you know, that's, you know, that's like going to Stonehenge. That's like fucking going to Roswell. You know what I mean? Like that's, 
one of those benchmark places on the earth where is that's still surrounded with so much lore and stories and mystery and uh so whenever you know and and and, and we 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 do we, you know what it is summertime it is high time for a dogman episode actually next episode with me and press we might talk about a few other things too but we're definitely getting into dogman I'm going to dig up some new reports. Hopefully him and I will do a new episode this week, actually. I'm planning on going out there, maybe doing a summertime cookout. Um, But, you know, so every time there's like a a, a new Dogman video or Sea Monster video or something of that nature, yeah, I'll fucking watch it and determine for myself what I think I'm looking at. Especially... If we're talking Lake Michigan, because Loch Ness, Loch means lake. So it's Lake Ness, okay? And all of the Great Lakes are significantly larger than Loch Ness. So why? It has perplexed me a little bit that the fucking Great Lakes have don't like don't have any world fucking like there's Loch Ness and then for those that dig a little bit deeper you'll find Champ of Lake Champlain um but there are no specific like you know there's no there's no uh suppy Lake Superior monster you know what i mean or whatever uh the Michigan monster you know what I mean? There's there's none of that. So this video comes up, okay? And uh, you can find it. Just Google search um, uh, uh, Michigan Sea Monster. And it it's, it's a whole YouTube search it. The video appears on, like, it's it looks like some sort of security cam footage, maybe. All clutter. It's actually pretty decent quality. Uh, not bad at all. Um, in the daytime, and it's looking out at a pier leading up to like a red, uh, maybe lighthouse. Um, and yeah, so that's that's the video you're looking for. Uh, and it's only yeah, the footage is only like 40, 50 seconds long. And I gotta tell you, it is, I do not know what I am looking at. It is very strange looking. There's waves crashing, and there's definitely something moving around within the waves. And then it actually goes through the bars in the pier. What I'm trying to figure, what I, what I can't fully figure out is, is this thing moving intelligently, or is it being carried by the waves? Hmm. And then when it goes off screen, it just like zzz, like slithers away. It, it it is really strange. It kind you know it could be a piece of debris, but based on the size in comparison to everything else in the video, it would have to be quite a large piece of debris. And while it does appear to sort of stop when it gets to the point of having to work through the wooden what appears may, maybe wooden maybe metal structure of the pier it appears to kind of stop for a second but then when you watch which makes it look like it's trying to work out a way through but then when you watch and it actually gets through it goes through pretty quickly and it's being you know carried by a wave literally it waits till a wave hits it and then it goes through and follows the wave which makes me think it really could be a piece of debris. Let's see what happens when it's actually... Yeah. Well, it could also be a large aquatic animal just following along with the waves. Let's see here. It does look strange. Serpent-like. But it's almost like a 
preparing to change shape, which makes me think it's some kind of, you know, you know what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me look at this again. I think I just figured out what it is. Hold on. Yeah. It look what it looks to me, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like some sort of long banner. Like a like like you know when a when like a single engine airplane flies an advertisement thin long banner over a beach. It looks like maybe some sort of thin long banner like that in the water. Honestly, that's what it looks like to me. I don't I don't think I don't think that thing I don't think what I'm looking at is moving intelligently. I think this thing is being carried by the waves and I think it's like a long piece of fabric or plastic of some sort. The more times I watch it, because that's really what it looks like moving in the water. It's certainly, I, I totally see why people go look at this and go, sea serpent. But the way it kind of gets caught up in the middle right there at, you know, let's see what mark, at mark like 32 ish in the video that I'm watching on www.jnewsradio.radio.com article slash article slash c monster dash c dash monster dash spotted dash lake dash Michigan etc etc um yeah that's what it looks like to me I think that this is some sort of piece a piece of debris some sort of long fabric thing caught up in the water that's what it honestly that is mm, shit there is this other part though still could be Actually, that makes... Holy shit. Hold on. That could make more sense. Hold on. Wait for it. Because there's another piece that looks like it's stuck on the corner of the dock. Or like the... Not the wooden part, but the actual corner piece of the other part. That's the... Uh... Hard to say. That doesn't say anything. Okay, never mind. But, yeah, you know, it's hard to say, but honestly, at the end of the day, that is what it looks like to me, is some sort of piece of debris caught in uh, in the waves. It does not look like it's something moving through the water intelligently. It looks like it's being carried by what appear to be fairly rough waters on that day. Um, but definitely an interesting video. Definitely go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think of that video in the comments and stuff like that. Um, I find it pretty interesting. You know, and it's just at the end of the day, it's fun. At the end of the day, to me, to me, it's so much more fun to be interested in this as opposed to writing it all off. You know, because it's you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <clears throat> we fucking, I mean, as, as like a, the most modern up to date fucking websites, textbooks, whatever, pa peer reviewed journals or papers, articles, whatever, the most up to date ones, the most accurate ones still have massive holes when we're talking about articles in regards to history geology 
fucking uh wait no not not really geology just like archaeological that's what i meant archaeological history um and also fucking an understanding of how the human brain even works how how fucking you know, there are still my point is as a species we do not have anywhere near all the answers we don't have in fact we don't have we have like a couple but we don't have very many answers to things at all there's still great mystery in this world and great mystery that needs that that i hope one day gets uncovered and everything gets explored you know what i mean like we might have satellites going every you know all over the globe but there are still places that no camera has ever filmed. You know what I mean? I, from At least from the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are fucking places on this earth that have never really been explored. At least by... That, that we have any records of. There, There is still fucking insane mystery. And... Because of that, really anything is still possible to me. And at the end of the day, that's kind of a choice, isn't it? Like, at the end of the day. Like, that's fucking... And I recognize that. Like, that that I choose to live within that mystery. As opposed to decide, oh, this isn't real, or that is real, or whatever. I, I, I more enjoy... The fucking, you could call it ambiguity, but I say mystery. You know what I mean? Like, it's just fucking, I don't know. It's just more fun to me. It's something that's always fucking interested me ever since I was a kid. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I love, I love it when fucking videos like that come up. And I love it when Joe Rogan gets a fucking interview with Bob fucking Lazar and, uh, if you've never heard of, if you're if you're into to this sort of these sort of things, check out the fucking uh, and you've never heard of it. Check out Coast to Coast AM. Trust me, like that is that is uh, you know that was kind of one of the inspirations for this podcast in a big bad way. That's one of the that's the first ever talk radio anything I ever listened to in my life. So uh, and it's all about this sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, but that's, I think I'm going to wrap it up. That's about all I got this evening from the crypt. Um, I hope all of you, again, had a wonderful and safe and happy 4th of July. Um, The summer is in full-fledged force now. Enjoy your summer, everyone. I hope everyone's enjoying their summer. I am enjoying mine. The next uh, concert I will be attending is the Alice Cooper Show at uh, Pine Knob DT Energy Music Theater in Clarkston, Michigan. If you'll be there, let me know. But following that, on the 25th, Recorruptor and Balgraith and many more at Max Bar in Lansing. Be sure to fucking be there. It's going to be fucking chaos. I prom. I look, look, look. I wouldn't suggest you a show that I didn't think was going to blow your fucking mind. Okay? I wouldn't push it. If I really didn't believe in it, trust me. All right. Trust. Like, look, trust me. I've seen a lot of fucking shows. Trust me. These guys are really, really fucking good. You're going to want to see this show, especially if you're in the Lansing area. Fucking trust me. You're going to, if you're into heavy metal, you're going to enjoy it. It's They put on a fucking killer show. Max Bar, July 25th, Lansing, Michigan. Fucking be there. Aside from that, um, hopefully we get Aaron back on the podcast this week. Maybe, if not, maybe I'll do a heavy metal folklore episode or something like that. I'm hoping to record one with Preston towards the end of the week. Get that posted early next week. And uh, continuing on from there, just keeping this train rolling. Uh, 
If you want us to cover any topics, if you want us to do a whole episode about any topics, if you have any questions, any ghost stories, any dogman stories, any Bigfoot stories, any UFO stories, especially in the Michigan area, reach out to us, please. We are very active on the Lost in the Dark uh, Facebook and Instagram, but also uh, Lost in the Dark Podcast at gmail.com. Feel free to reach out to us on there. Um, any stories you may have and want to share with us, please let us know. Uh, we'd love to hear them. We'll probably do, uh, like I said, we'll do another uh, sort of paranormal episode coming up here uh, in, uh, maybe with press and hopefully or something like that. Uh, that'd be fun. Uh, but yeah, that uh, if you have anything or just want to reach out, maybe there's an album you want us uh, to review or um, a show, you know, anything. Anything you want us to talk about, please reach out to us. Lost in the Dark Podcast at gmail.com, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, that's where YouTube also. That's uh, any of those places you can reach us. Uh, please uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a review on uh, Apple, iTunes, uh, any of the above, or wherever you listen to podcasts. We would really appreciate it. Uh, but I will be back in, uh, you know, I'll get another one out this week for sure. Hell or high water. Uh, and here's why, because I love you all to death. Again, I hope you all had a very fun and safe 4th of July weekend. I love you all to death. Good night.